Hello everyone. Today in this Voxel World and Hex World series, we are going to work on this island modifier. That means here I have created a new variable called enable island modifier. When I have enabled that, when I generate a new world, as you can see here, the world is limited to this area and closer to the edge we always get either a lower landscape area or this blue ocean tides. Now if I disable island notifier this is what happens. We freely get randomly generated landscape but here you can see you may have this unfinished chunks closer to the edge that is cut off without a smooth fading out as it gets closer to the end. So if I disable randomization and after I disable in the randomization even if I press generate grid it will recreate the same grid and if I recreate with the island modifier enabled this is what happens. So now this is the same grid but it is modified to ensure that the voxel islands or what's voxel landscape is faded out as it get closer to the edge. At this. So it ensures always we have islands and there are no unfinished chunks closer to the edges. And here we have these hexagonal shapes. The world is created with hexagonal shapes. And in the other map, we have a cubic world here. The world is generated with cubes. And for this also, the same logic can be applied. Here we have the island modifier enabled. Now when I press generate island, always we get islands. And as always, you can use these parameters to control the world shape. And if you disable the island modifier, you can have things like this. Alright, so that's what we are going to work on today. And before we get started, I'd like to remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done in my channel. To the date, there are over 1700 videos and for each video, project file is accessible in the Patreon page once you become a member. And let's get back to the work. Right, so this is what we have at the moment. We can use this generate grid button to create a random voxel word like this. But the problem here is, as you can see, in these corners, in the edges of the world, we have this uh, unfinished chunk of world. This is like a half of a mountain. So we want to avoid that. So we need to have some random islands only. So in the edges or closer to the edges, always there should be a sea perhaps. By sea I mean this blue tiles, this water tiles. So we need to smoothly curve down or fade the height of these voxels as they get closer to the edge. Okay, so to achieve that, let's open the blueprint. And here in the event graph, so this is hex world, which is a child class of voxel world blueprint. And here we have this generate grid function and in the generate grid we have this get height and type this is the function that is responsible for determining the z scale of the voxel and also the type that means if it is a rock voxel or a soil voxel or a water voxel or green voxel the grass voxel let me collapse this part here yeah. x y here yeah. so then this looks cleaner okay now if we consider this world we have I'm going to come up with a logic to fade out 
the height closer to the edges so consider this this as x axis or whatever the axis and if we consider this axis represents an angle that is changing from 0 to 108 then this is in degrees then sine value of this degree value would be like this okay now in our world this value this 180 will be proportional or corresponding to the number of tiles that we have in this direction uh, the number of voxels so i call it here x cell count okay so if i write a function to consider the excel count and convert it to a degree between 0 and 180 and use this cell number in whatever the location cell number and put it into this function we will get a value that is similar to this to demonstrate that here yeah. let me get this x value and divide it by x cell count so this would be something in between 0 and 1 because this is changing from 0 to excel count and then if I here let me put a sign in degrees so this I think end of floor division otherwise I don't think we will get the correct values okay now this is a floor but this is something in between 0 and 1 so if I multiply this by 180 we can get the value between 0 and 180 and if I put it into the sign degree function instead of this value but if I use this value let's say multiplied by some this bounded height and put it here compile now you should see let me regenerate oh Houston we have a problem that's too much I think that's because of this I used this mountain height let me break this and use something like 30 yeah see now we have that sine curve shape now similarly if I do the same thing for the y value also that means here yeah. let me duplicate this part the y index and divide it by y cell count okay now I'll use a value like this no we can just add a multiplier here for y also like this combine and generate grid now you see in the middle we have the highest point and as we go closer to the edges we have lower points okay so now I am gonna use this as a multiplier to the height calculation function so that we can have a lower height closer to the edge so for that yeah let me delete this and multiply these two together and then here for this git height and type I'll add a new input let's call it iron modifier because this is what it what makes sure that we have only islands not unfinished chunks oh wait this has to be a float okay now here I'll multiply this value with the island modifier and use it for C now if I generate this is not I sorry forgot to read this 
that's why I didn't have the height. Okay, now uh, let's see. Yeah, see? Now we have only islands. We don't have any unfinished chant closer to the edge. Okay. Nice. And also, let's have a variable to enable or disable that. So, enable I want. I'll make it visible. Okay, now. I'll make a lapse this. To a function. I can't. And I'll make it a pure function. And. This is X. This is Y should be interchanged okay now inside here if island modifier is enabled we return this value otherwise we return one so that means no island modifier they just return whatever the height values we have So here, island modifier is not enabled at the moment. So if I generate, now you see we have unfinished chunks here. And if I disable randomize here, even if I generate it again, we will have the same thing. And if I enable island modifier and generate, now you see we have islands now. Okay. Now let, this is the hex world. Let's go to the voxel test, which has this cubic shape, and this should behave also behave in the same way. So at the moment, island modifier is not enabled. So we have this unfinished chunks. If I enable it, yeah, now we get islands. All right. So that's all for today and feel free to let me know what else you would guys would like to cover in this series in the comments below. And thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for the download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.